In this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple Studio One project with eight VSTI virtual instruments and a Notion 6 project with eight rewire MIDI staves. In the Notion 6 project you will put music notation on the rewire MIDI staves and then Notion 6 will send MIDI over to Studio One to play the eight VSTI instruments hosted in Studio One. You're going to do this in a rewire session and so you want to start Studio One first and create an empty song. And then you want to start Notion 6 and create an empty score. In Studio One you want to show the browser, which is done down here at the lower right, and you want to be sure that instruments are selected. In the rewire fold down you want to click on Notion, select it, and drag it over into the track lane. This creates the connections that Notion needs to talk to Studio One. Now you want to add some instruments. And so we're going to go down here to VST3. We're going to drop it down and we're going to pick Sample Tank. We're going to click it and then we're going to drag it over into the track lane underneath the existing tracks. This is going to bring up Sample Tank 3. Now I've been using Sample Tank for a long time and I actually like the Sample Tank 2 instruments which I've imported. So I'm going to start off with a Sample Tank XL2 studio drum kit and it's going to be acoustic and this takes a little bit of scrolling but that's the way it works and what I want to do is I want to find the studio natural and then I'm going to load it I'm going to leave it on the default volume on the panning, I'm going to pan it over to the left. So it's going to be panned to the left. Because I like to have two kick drums. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get another sample tank. And I'm going to drop it in. But this time, I'm going to pan it to the far right. And I do that because I like to have a pair of kick drums. One on the left, one on the right. And I'm going to keep doing this until I have eight instances of sample tank. And I'm going to load each one with specific instruments. When I finish this, I'm going to save the Studio One project. And then I'm going to switch over to Notion 6. And in Notion 6, I'm going to be in score setup. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on Rewire MIDI. And then that's going to bring up Rewire MIDI buses. And I'm going to create eight of them uh, one on channel one, one on channel two, one on channel three, channel four, and so forth. And then I'm going to exit score setup, and now I have eight rewire MIDI channels. Now you can see that the names are rewire, and this is bus one, channel one, rewire bus one, channel two, and so forth. That's not really meaningful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change them to names that make sense and match the instruments and I'll do that later and then uh, show you how that works. So at this point I've got eight VSTI virtual instruments they're all sample tank and they're in the Studio One project and over in the Notion project I've got rewire MIDI staves and so the next step in connecting all this stuff is that you want to click on the first 
sample tank and you'll notice that up here at the top of sample tank there's a button and you want to click on that and then it's going to be it's going to show channel one it's going to say none but you want to change it to notion and in notion uh what you're going to have is you're going to have bus one and it's going to be channel one and so that's what you want that says that uh what comes from notion on bus one channel one is going to play this sample tank and you want to close that and then you want to go to the next one and what you're going to do on this one you're going to go up and click on this button and again it's going to say none on channel one so we're using channel one on all the sample tanks you want to change that to notion it'll default to bus one channel one but we want to set it to bus one channel two and you want to keep doing that going bus one channel two three four five six seven eight until you have all of the VSTI instruments their channel ones mapped to one of the rewire MIDI staves in the notion project now that I've got everything set up this is the way it looks and I've also gone in and added some uh, effects controls now over in the notion project I've renamed the rewire MIDI buses so they have meaningful names and uh, what we've got here is I've got a left kick drum, right kick drum, snare drum, hi-hats, Hofner bass, left rhythm guitar, right rhythm guitar, and lead guitar. Now on the Hofner bass, it's a, actually a Hofner Beetle bass and it's from Sample Tank 2, one of the bass collections. The low pitch A string is actually flat and so to make it on pitch you have to sharp the string now you'll notice that all of these are treble staves i think it's too complicated to have bass staves and treble staves and tenor staves and all that stuff so what i do is i go into notion setup and if it's going to be bass then i'll go to the instrument tab and I'll find transposition and I'll set it to two octaves lower than notated. So that means that middle C on the treble clef is actually going to be two octaves lower. For guitar, I will do it one octave lower because guitar is a transposing instrument. And that's a nice feature of Notion, and it lets you work with MIDI staves, so you really only need to know 12 notes and about 8 or 10 octaves. It's a lot simpler. Now we're going to switch back to Studio One, and this is how it sounds. That's about all there is to it. Thanks.